Eunice, Jonah. With the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. Alif Lam Ra. I am Allah, the all seeing. These are the verses of the perfect book, which is full of wisdom. Is this a matter of wonder for the people that we have sent our revelation to a man from among themselves, saying, Warn the people against the evils of disbelief and sin, and give glad tidings to those who believe that they stand on a strong and honorable footing with their Lord? The disbelievers say, Certainly this man is an evident enchanter. Verily your Lord is Allah, who created the heavens and the earth in six aeons, and at the same time he is well established on the throne of authority. He regulates all affairs. As an intercessor, there can be none to intercede with him, save after his leave. Such is Allah, your Lord, so worship him. Will you not then mind? To him is the return of you all. This promise of Allah is certain to be true. He it is who originates the creation, then he reproduces it, so that he may justly reward those who believe and do deeds of righteousness. And those who disbelieve, they shall have a drink of boiling water and a grievous punishment because of their disbelieving. He it is who made the sun radiate brilliant light and the moon reflect a luster and fixed for it each one of them stages according to an estimated measure that you might know the counting and number of the years and the reckoning of time. Allah created all this only to suit the requirements of truth and wisdom. He explains in detail these signs for a people who would know. Certainly, in the alternation of night and day, and in all that Allah has created in the heavens and the earth, there are sure signs for a people who guard against evil. Verily, those who fear not the meeting with us, nor do they cherish a hope for the same, and are pleased to choose the life of this world, and feel contented therewith, and similarly, those who are heedless of our signs. It is these indeed whose resort is the fire, because of their such deeds. As to those who believe and do deeds of righteousness, their Lord shall lead them, because of their faith, into gardens of bliss, served with running streams to keep them green and flourishing. Their prayer therein will be, Glory be to you, O Allah! And their greeting therein to each other shall be, Peace! And the conclusion of their prayer will be, All type of perfect and true praise belongs to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. If Allah were to hasten on the evil for the people as a consequence of their evil actions, just as they would seek to hasten on for themselves the good, the end of their term of life would certainly have been brought upon them forthwith. But we leave alone those who fear not the meeting with us, nor do they cherish any hope for the same. They are wandering distractedly in their transgression. When a person is in a certain affliction, he calls on us lying on his sides or sitting or standing. But when we remove his affliction, he passes on with his face turned away as if he had never called on us for the removal of the affliction that befell him. Thus it is that their base doings are made fair-seeming to these extravagant people. And we certainly destroyed several generations before you, when they went wrong in spite of the fact that there had come to them their messengers of God with clear proofs, but they would not believe. Just as we repaid them, so we repay all such guilty people with punishment. Then we made you inherit the land after these generations, that we might see how you would act. When our clear verses are recited to them, those who fear not the meeting with us, nor do they cherish any hope for the same, say, Bring a Qur'an other than this one, or at least make some changes in it. Say to them, 
it is not for me to introduce changes in it of my own accord. I follow nothing but what is revealed to me. Truly, if I disobey my Lord, I fear the punishment of a great dreadful day. Say, had Allah so willed that he should replace the teachings of the Qur'an with some other teachings, I should not have recited this Qur'an to you, nor would he have made it known to you. I had indeed lived among you a whole lifetime before this. Was not my truthfulness undisputed? Will you not then refrain from opposing me? Who is then more unjust than he who forges a lie in the name of Allah or cries lies to his messages? It is but certain that the guilty shall never attain their goal. And some people worship apart from Allah things that can neither harm them of their own accord nor can help them. They say, these are our intercessors with Allah. Say, do you presume to inform Allah of the things of whose existence in the heavens or in the earth he does not know? Glory be to him. High be he exalted above the things they associate with him. And humankind were but a single nation. Then they fell into variance. Had it not been for a word the postponement of their punishment that proceeded from your Lord as his promise. The issue wherein they disagreed would have long been decided between them. And they say, why is not a decisive sign of destruction sent down to him from his Lord? Say then, the hidden reality will come to pass. The knowledge of it belongs to Allah alone. So wait for the time ordained. Surely I am with you among those who wait. When we show mercy to people, after adversity has visited them, they at once start scheming devices against our revelations. Say, Allah is quicker at scheming counter devices. Indeed, our messengers, the angels appointed for the purpose, are recording all that you devise. He it is who enables you to journey through the land and on the sea. When you are on these ships and these means of transport with those on board sail with a fair breeze, while they are taking a joyful pride in them, a violent wind overtakes them. Wave after wave surges on them from every side, and they feel sure that they are caught in a disaster. Then they call upon Allah with a sincere faith in him, saying, If you deliver us from this calamity, we will certainly be of the thankful. Nevertheless, when he delivers them, behold, they begin to commit excesses in the land for no just reason. O oh, people, your excesses will only recoil upon your own selves. Have a temporary enjoyment of the life of this world. Then to us shall be your return, and then we will tell you all that you have been doing. The life of this world is simply like water. We send it down from the clouds, so that the produce of the earth whereof people and cattle eat grows with this water abundantly, until when the earth by means of it receives its excellent onature and has decked itself fairly beautiful, and its owners feel sure that they are its masters. Unexpectedly, we command its destruction either by night or by day, so we render it a field that is mown down as though nothing had existed there the day before. Thus do we explain in detail the signs for a people who reflect. Allah invites us all to the abode of peace and he guides him who wishes to be guided to the exact right path leading to the goal. There shall be the fairest reward, and yet a good deal more of blessings for those who do good to others. Neither gloom of sorrow nor traces of ignominy shall overspread their faces. It is these who are the rightful owners of the paradise. There they shall abide for ever. And as for those who knowingly committed evil deeds, 
they shall be punished in measure with the evil done, and ignominy shall cover them. They shall have none to protect them against the punishment of Allah. And they shall look as if their faces have been covered with patches of night with no light. It is these who are the fellows of the fire. They shall abide in it for long. And imagine the day when we shall muster all the people together. Then we shall say to those who associated partners with God, Keep to your places in Jehenna, you and your associated partners with God. Then we shall separate them thoroughly, one from another. And their associated partners with God will say to them, Surely it was not us that you worshipped. So this day Allah suffices as a witness between us and you. We were surely quite ignorant of all that you worshipped. At that time, every soul shall find explicitly that what it had done in the past, and they will be brought back before Allah, their true patron, and all that they used to forge shall be lost to them. Ask who provides you sustenance from the heaven and the earth? Or who controls hearing and sight? And who brings forth the living out of the dead, and brings forth the dead out of the living? And who directs and regulates all the affairs of the universe? They will certainly say thereupon, It is Allah. Then say, Will you not even then guard against evil doings? Such then is Allah, your true Lord. So what would you have after discarding the truth save perdition? Whither are you being turned away from the truth? Just as he is your true Lord, the verdict of your Lord shall be confirmed against those who rebel, because they do not believe. Say, Is there any one of your associated partners with God? who starts the cycle of creation and then continues it? Say, it is Allah who starts the cycle of creation and then continues it. Whither then are you being deviated away from the truth? Ask, is there any of your associated partners with God who leads to the truth? Say, it is Allah alone who leads to the truth. Is then he who leads to the truth more worthy to be followed, or he assumed to be God, that cannot find the way himself unless he be guided. What then is the matter with you? How do you judge? And most of them follow nothing but mere conjecture, whereas by no means can a conjecture do away with the need of the truth. The fact is, Allah is well aware of what they do. This Qur'an is not such as could have been devised by anyone besides Allah. On the contrary, Allah has revealed it as a confirmation of all the previous scriptures and is a clear and detailed explanation of the divine law. It is wanting in naught, containing nothing doubtful, disturbing, harmful or destructive, and there is no false charge in it. It proceeds from the Lord of the worlds. And yet, they say, he has forged it. Then produce a single chapter like it, calling upon whomsoever you can for your help, apart from Allah, if you are truthful. Nay, the thing is that they have cried lies to that, the full knowledge of which they could not comprehend, and whose true significance has not yet been explained to them. Their predecessors cried lies to the truth just in the same manner, but behold how was the end of the wrongdoers. There are some who will believe in this Qur'an, and there are others among them who will never believe therein, and their Lord knows very well those who act wrongfully. If they still cry lies to you, say to them, I will reap the fruit of my actions, useful or harmful as it is, and you will reap the fruit of yours. You are not to blame for what I do, and I am not responsible to account for what you do. And some of them appear to give ear to you. Can you make the deaf hear, even though they would not care to perceive? 
and some of them appear to look at you. But can you guide the blind, even though they would not care to see? Verily, Allah does no injustice to the people at all, but the people do injustice to themselves. And on the day when he shall gather them all together, they will feel as if they had not lived in this world, but for a fraction of a day. They will recognize the repentance of one another. Losers indeed were those who denied the truth of the meeting with Allah and would not receive true guidance. And we shall show you, O Muhammad, the visitation on them of some of that punishment with which we have threatened these disbelievers before we cause you to die. Anyhow, they shall all have to return to us. Moreover, Allah is witness to all that they do. And for every nation there is a messenger. So when their messenger of God comes, the issue between them is judged with all fairness, and they are not done injustice to. And they say, Tell if you are truthful when this promise is to be fulfilled. Say, I have no power to hurt or to do good to myself. It shall happen as Allah will. There is a term appointed for every nation for the recompense of their actions. When their term comes, they cannot remain behind it a single moment to escape from it, nor can they get ahead of it to avoid it. Say, tell me if his punishment overtakes you, unexpectedly, by night or by day. How can those who cut off their ties with Allah hasten away to escape from it? Will you not then believe in it when this punishment has actually befallen you? It will be useless then, and you will be told, Now you believe, whereas you were keen on hastening it on before the appointed time. At that time it will be said to the wrongdoers, Suffer the abiding punishment. You are only repaid with punishment for those actions of yours that are deliberately committed. They inquire of you to inform them, Is this warning about punishment certain to be true? Say, Yes, by my Lord, it is most surely bound to be true. You cannot frustrate him in his purpose in order to avert it. And if every soul that has committed wrong had all the treasures of the earth, it would surely offer the whole of it to ransom itself therewith. And they will express their hidden remorse and repent when they see the punishment. But the matter will be judged between them equitably, and no injustice shall be done to them. Behold, whatever is in the heavens and the earth belongs to Allah. Behold, surely Allah's promise is true, though most of them do not know this truth. It is He who gives life and causes death and to him you shall all be made to return. O people, there has come to you an exhortation to do away with your weaknesses from your Lord, and a cure for whatever disease is in your hearts, and a book full of excellent guidance and a mercy and full of blessings to the believers in the ultimate form of the Qur'an. Say, all this, revelation of the Qur'an, is through the grace of Allah and His mercy. In this, therefore, let them rejoice, because this Qur'an is better than all that they hoard. Say, Have you considered that out of the provisions Allah has provided for you, you have classified by yourselves some as unlawful and some lawful? Say, Has Allah given you leave to do so, or do you forge lies in the name of Allah? What do those who forge lies in the name of Allah think of the day of resurrection? Surely Allah is gracious towards humankind, but most of them do not thank Him. And, O Prophet, in whatever state you may be and whatever portion of the Qur'an you recite that is from Him, and, O people, you do no work but we are watching over you when you are engrossed therein. 
there does not escape from your Lord even so much as an atom's weight in the earth or in the heavens. Neither is there anything smaller than that, nor greater, but it is recorded in a plain book of divine law and is governed thereby. Behold, the friends of Allah, neither fear shall overwhelm them, nor shall they ever remain in grief. It is those who believed and ever kept on guarding against evil. They shall have glad tidings in the present life and also in the hereafter. There is no changing the words of Allah. That indeed is the supreme achievement. And do not let their words grieve you, because all power belongs to Allah. He is the all-hearing, the all-knowing. Behold, surely to Allah belongs whoever is in the heavens and whoever is on the earth. Those who call on gods other than Allah, as a matter of fact, do not follow their associated partners with Allah. They follow nothing but their own surmises, and they do nothing but conjecture. It is he who made for you the night, so that you may rest in it, and who made the day full of light that you may work in it. Surely in this there are many signs for the people who would listen to the messages of God. Some of these people have gone so far as to say, Allah has taken to him a son. Holy is he, he is self-sufficient. Whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth belongs to him. You have no authority for attributing this to him. Do you attribute to Allah what you do not know yourselves? Say, surely those who forge a lie in the name of Allah will never attain the goal. They will have some provision to enjoy in this world, then to us shall be their return. Then we shall make them suffer a terrible punishment because of their hiding the truth, and because they continue to disbelieve. Relate to them some of the life events of Noah, because he also had said to his people, O oh my people, if my station with God, and my reminding you of your duty to God, through the messages of Allah is hard upon you, you should bear in mind that as for me, I put my trust in Allah, and on your part you should decide upon your course of action mustering all your resources to gain success, and call your allies to your help. Then do not let your designs be vague to you. Then carry them out against me and give me no respite. But if you turn back, you will suffer for it. I have asked of you no reward for any of my services to you. My reward lies with Allah alone and I have been commanded to be of those who fully resign themselves to him. But still they cried lies to him. So we saved him and all those who were with him in the ark, and we made them rulers while we drowned those who had cried lies to our messages. Behold then how evil was the end of those who had been warned beforehand. Then we sent after him, messengers to their respective people and they brought them clear proofs but they would not believe in them because they had already cried lies to them in this way we seal the hearts of the transgressors because of their own stubborn and unjustified refusal to listen then we sent after them moses and aaron with our signs to pharaoh and his chiefs but they behaved arrogantly and they were a people who had cut off their ties with Allah. And when there came to them the truth from us, they said, This is of course enchantment creating dissension. Moses said, Is that how you talk of the truth when it has come to you? Can this be an enchantment, whereas the enchanters never attain their goal? They said, Have you come to us that you may turn us away? from what we found our forefathers practicing, and to make sure that you too reign supreme in the land? But remember, we will not believe in either of you at all. And Pharaoh said to his people, 
Bring every skilled sorcerer to me. Now when the sorcerers came, Moses said to them, Present whatever you have to present. Then when they had presented what they would present, Moses said, What you have brought is a mere deception. Allah will soon render it void, because Allah does not at all allow the machination of the mischief makers to thrive. And Allah will establish the truth by dint of his decrees, even though the guilty may find it hard. None, however, but a few youths from among his people accepted Moses, while others held back, for fear of Pharaoh and their chiefs, lest he should persecute them. And surely Pharaoh was ever a tyrant in the land, and truthfully he was of those who committed excesses and high-handedness. And Moses said, O oh my people, put your trust in Allah, if you have really believed in him, and if you have really submitted to his will. Thereupon they said, In Allah alone do we put our trust. Our Lord, do not make us a target of persecution of the wrongdoing people. And deliver us by your mercy from the evil designs of the disbelieving people. And we spoke to Moses and his brother Aaron, saying, You both should prepare lodging for your people, bringing them together from different parts of the country, in the central town of Egypt, and make your houses so as to face one another and perform worship, and proclaim good tidings of success to the believers. And Moses said, Our Lord, you have given Pharaoh and his chiefs pomp and wealth in the present life with the result, our Lord, that they lead people astray from your path. Our Lord, destroy their wealth and attack their hearts, so that they believe not until they see the grievous punishment. The Lord said, The prayer of you both has been accepted, so remain you too steadfast and follow not the way of those who do not know. And we brought the children of Israel across the sea, and Pharaoh and his legion pursued them in wanton aggression, and for no justified cause, till when he was about to be drowned, he cried, I confess and believe that there is no one worthy of worship but he in whom the children of Israel has believed in, and I am of those who submit to him. The Lord said, What? Do you remember now while dying, whereas you had always disobeyed before this, and you had been of the miscreants? So on this day we will preserve you in your body only, that you may be a sign to learn a lesson from for the coming generations, though most of the people are quite heedless of our signs. And we assigned to the children of Israel an excellent place to settle, and we provided them with good and pure things, and they differed not among themselves until there had come to them true knowledge. Surely your Lord will on the day of resurrection settle the issue between them concerning which they differ now. And if you, O reader, are in doubt regarding that which we have revealed to you, ask those who have read this book, the Qur'an, before you, they will tell you that there has in fact come to you the perfect truth from your Lord. So be not of the contenders at all. And be not of those who cry lies to the messages of Allah, for then you shall be of the losers. Verily, those against whom the verdict of punishment of your Lord has been confirmed will not believe, till they see the grievous punishment, even though they have witnessed every kind of sign. Why was there no community other than the people of Jonah, who should have believed as a whole, so that their belief would have done them good? If it had been so, it would have been much better, for when they, the people of Jonah, believed, we spared them a humiliating punishment in the present life, and we gave them provision to avail themselves therefrom for a time. And if your Lord had enforced his will, those who are on the earth would have believed one and all. Would you then constrain the people to become believers, 
while Allah has not forced them to believe? Indeed, no one can believe save by the leave of Allah. Yet he will inflict his punishment on them who would not refrain from evil. Say, Behold the miracles which are happening in the heavens and the earth in support of the Prophet Muhammad, though it is true at the same time that signs and warnings are of no good to a people who do not believe. They only wait for the like of the calamities to be repeated, as were suffered by those who passed away before them. Say, Wait then, and I am with you among those who wait. Then when the punishment descends, we shall destroy the evildoers, but we shall save our messengers and those who believed. Thus does it always happen. We have made it binding upon ourselves to save the believers. Say, O you people, if you are in doubt regarding my creed, then be sure that I do not worship those whom you worship apart from Allah, but I worship Allah alone, who causes you to die. And I have been commanded that I should be of the believers. And I have also been commanded to convey to you God's message, devote your attention to the true faith in an upright manner, and be not of the polytheists. And do not call upon, apart from Allah, any other that can neither do good to you, nor can harm you of his own. For if you do so, you shall certainly be of the unjust. And if Allah afflicts you with harm, none can remove it but he. And if he desires any good for you, none can stop his bounty. He bestows it on whomsoever of his servants he wishes, and he is the great protector, the ever merciful. Say, O oh, you people, there has come to you the truth from your Lord. So whosoever follows guidance, follows it only for the good of his own soul. And he who goes astray, only goes astray against it. And I am not responsible for you. And follow that which is revealed to you, and patiently persevere till Allah gives his judgment, for he is the best of judges.